Okay, so for the Mora 9.5 is here and it is better than ever. Well, technically that is what Team Filmora says. So what exactly is new in this version and what's been corrected and what's been corrupted? First of all, I would love to thank Team Filmora for giving us the update in the midst of the corona pandemic. So yeah, thanks Team Filmora. Okay, now let's get into it. Okay, so as soon as I opened the Filmora 9.5 and used it for a bit, I noticed that the overall smoothness is increased. And I like it, I have to say, I liked it. Now I feel less lag and more performance as compared to what I used to have in my older Filmora 9. So yeah, nice work there Team Filmora. Okay, now there are some new filters available that I noticed and these are cool. Thanks with Team Filmora for that and finally, for the love of the almighty Wondershare, Filmora has finally fixed the graphics rendering bug, where it only used to take our inbuilt graphics card as a renderer instead of the external dedicated one if you have an internal graphic card like the Intel HD 620 or something then you know about this bug, where Filmora just don't take your external graphic card no matter what you do. I hated that, I, whatever I do I just can't able to have my dedicated graphic card as my graphics renderer and my intel was my default one. Because of that bug, I mean my PC went on to have so much heat above 90 degrees celsius. I'm not kidding, above 90 degrees celsius. I can literally cook omelette on that. Just kidding, don't take the omelette part literally, okay. So yeah, it, it was making my PC heat a lot. Anyways, the new small help tool which helps people to understand Filmora and if they go through the mini course then rewarding them with a free trial subscription of the film stock and free effects pack for life to choose from. Well, nice move there team Filmora, I appreciate that. Also, these mini help icons here and there are a good addition to be honest, so yeah, kudos for that. Well yeah, that is pretty much all the thing that Team Filmora has included in 9.5. There are some major and minor bug fixes and all, but as there are good things of something, then there are bad things too. And this time, the bad things are just too much to handle. And now comes the main part. Okay, so the first one, the speed alteration is gone. So what is happening to Filmora? So if you don't understand what speed alteration is, in Filmora 9.3, if you right click on the clip and change its speed, then it will highlight the clip with this mini slider, indicating the speed ratio of how much the speed your video has. Now if you take your mouse and go slightly at the end of the clip, then left click and hold on the video, and try to move your mouse either right or left then you will notice that your clip speed is actually changing not the duration your clip speed is actually changing this manual speed change was very useful for the large projects to be honest it was such a blessing in the filmora 9.3 but apparently 9.5 this is gone i mean now you can't manually do this you have to go through the hassle of adjusting the speed according to imaginations i mean i'm no einstein but i know that it's gonna take a lot of time to do that i mean and the accuracy of that thing is not gonna be uh, good to be honest so what i'm talking about like now before this feature is in the 9.3 but now in the 9.5 and even in the 9.4, it was removed. I mean, I just can't able to understand that why you removed this feature. What was the idea behind removing this feature? You should have given us something more better feature other than this. I mean, this was much amazing. Why did you remove this Team Filmora? Okay, now if I go to the second part, then this is about the track length. So in Filmora 9.3, before we can make the track length short, to around this much so we can able to accommodate more tracks on the same screen while also looking at what we are making. But for some unknown reason now the smallest track length is the same as the medium track length of the 9.3. So in the 9.3 this is the medium length of the track and in the Filmora 9.5 this is the short length of the track. You can see they are pretty much identical and we can't go more short than this. Apparently this leads to having to scroll down between the sliders to look through the timeline, which make it a little tedious and ugly. Well, what I want to say is that not everybody own a 90 inch 8K monitor so that they can able to fit all the tracks in one screen. I mean, why would you guys even at Team Filmora make such a perfectly good feature crap again? Why? But you know what, this is not the first time that Team Filmora did something like this. 
And now comes the number 3. Remember chroma key? The chroma key function of the Filmora 8 was superb, that it actually gets the job done. But ever since the 9th update, it went down all haywire. Now to understand better, this is Filmora 9. Now if I take any random gradient and put it on the timeline, and let's take any random video, I'm gonna use this timer video that Filmora gives. Okay now, I want this black to be gone so that the gradient will show in its place. So if I go to the chroma key and key out of a black color, then for some unknown reason, Filmora 9 does not do a good job. Even if I tweak around the settings that we have here, the four settings, it still just don't do it. It's like the chroma key is still not fully developed here. But now, if I do the same thing in Filmora 8, then voila. The chroma key not only looks great, but it actually gets the job done. I mean, why is that? Why does a near perfect chroma key is turn into a literal bull crap in the Filmora newer version? Okay, so remember, like I said, that Filmora team has a reputation to take any perfect good thing from any perfect version and turn it into a bull crap in the newer version. Now, here comes the fourth thing. In Filmora 9, the crop and zoom is actually good, and I liked it. But there used to be a cross-check option in the Filmora 8 where we can actually, while cropping and zooming, we can actually look at how much crop and zoom we are doing, which helped a ton in doing position editing. But in Filmora 9, it is not there. Now we have to do the guesswork most of the time, just like we have to do with the speed alteration. I mean, it takes now more than three or multiple attempts to get the perfect crop and zoom, but in Filmora 8, you can do that in just the first attempt. It is that much of a difference. So apparently, please team Filmora, re-implement these features back. It will be much appreciated if you guys do that. Well, there are more things that Filmora has literally made worse, but they are too minute to mention. So now, Team Filmora, what I basically meant to say here is that please, for the love of the god, don't slowly turn Filmora bad. Please fix these problems. As of the right now, I know it's lockdown worldwide. I'm in the lockdown. So I won't gonna nag much even if we get an update next year. It will be fine. But please, at least in the next update, don't take away the good features of the Filmora. And also, Team Filmora, I am not a bootlicker that will just literally falter for you. If you are doing something bad, I will let you know. You have more than a 20 million user base worldwide. At least cherish that user base because a lot of people don't gonna like if you take away the good features. I've been using Filmora for the past 5 years and I hate the fact that you are literally turning Filmora 9 into a bull crap. Sorry for my language but that is just the truth. Have a nice day. This is me Himanshu Mehra from Technomania, signing out. Oh. <laughs>